we got the other half of this good Timu pack today. And I got a link for you and a little coupon code as I am becoming an influencer with Timu. Yay! So, let's get down to the goodies. Okay, so everything's already unpackaged as I tried multiple times today to make this happen. So... Let's um, start with the glitter. So these are just some little mixed Valentine's Day glitters. Blingy, blingy, blingy. Super cute. They're going to make some super cute sets. And you know, like I say, us girls, we use hearts and lips and pink all year round. So let's just take a little gander at it. Oh, well, if I keep it in the box. Let's see, I see hearts and octagons, small and large pieces, four point stars, pink, white, iridescent, and that mm -mm -mm, square. Here we have some different shades of pink, uh, white four point stars, hearts, um, octagons, different sizes, uh, glitters, circles, you know. A whole bunch of them more pink than more of a darker pink in that one than a lighter pink this one has all the different shades of pink plus a little blue you know i would take this top off but i'm prone to spilling things so yeah but in case nobody's ever showed you yeah screw it i'll show you and let's just pray that my glitchy hands this time of night as it's like almost nine o'clock here in ohio around about that time if you open all of the little squares, I didn't know this once upon a time. Open all the little squares up. You can take the whole dad burn lid off. I remember when somebody showed me that. I'm like, get the freak out of here. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, so back to the lecture at hand. Um, these are all, well, mostly white and iridescent. You see the different sparkles. I, there's four point stars and octagons and hexes and... They're given little purple and blue shifts. And then we have, you know, two more shades of pink. Same, uh, two sizes of four-point stars. So just a nice little Valentine's Day. Let me get centered there. Mix. And I think it was probably like 79 cents. You can't beat Timu's prices. Come on now. I started with Timu when they first started with their ads here on YouTube. Before all of the video hauls. If y'all dig back in my videos, you could probably find a Timu haul at the beginning. Before there were Timu hauls. When everybody was, you know, doing the Shein and AliExpress. I've been a Timu a holic since they were just posting their commercials here on YouTube. And it kind of just spread like wildfire. And the reason why, I see a lot of people that are like, oh no, I'm not going to shop there. You know, this wish this blase skip that i said well they're more in comparison to shein the clothes are nice the shoes are nice i got me some probably six inch studded heel boots with tassels on the side and fur cuffs on the top for a decent price that are just great and a little fuzzy heart purse with a gold chain strap to match and i didn't spend over 50 bucks for the boots and the purse together so come on now that was last year then we got a couple of gels here. Let's start with these two pots first. And they are by, um, what's that say? Maysay? Yeah. M-A-Y-S-A-Y. -A -Y. I don't got my glasses on, y'all. Shiny Platinum Gel. And I got a couple of little swatches sticks over here. Oh, that's pretty. This is like a rose gold. I started to use this in today's set. Y'all, I tried to get this video done three times today, and it was just a whole waste of the entire day. Nothing at all got flipping accomplished. Except for my first set of birthday nails that I used. Um, part of it, something in this package, and most of the stones came from... Uh, Timu as well. And look at the bling. Come on now. Birthday nails. This is the first set of birthday nails. I'm going to make three sets. Gold, silver. 
I think I'm going to do um, pink and gray and silver and purple. Or silver and blue. I haven't decided yet. So this is Aquarius set number one. And, honey, the closer you get to 50, the more of a princess you are going to be, whether anybody else likes it or not. So let's watch this and see what it looks like. So it's a rose goldish color. Very pretty. What is it called? Platinum gel. Oh, look at that. And it is silky. Silky, silky, silky. Oh, I'm loving this. This is beautiful. So two coats of this, which we will do, would be just rose gold fantasy. Some rose gold and black, rose gold and white. Holy Moses, that is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to pop him in the lamp. And while that one's in the lamp, I'm not going to screw that back. I'm just going to set on there because we are going to do two coats. This is another Mace um, Glitter Star Gel. Loving it. Look at the burgundies and some pinks. I see a little uh, red and some shifts of blue and purple. So let's put it on a swatch of stick and see what we got jumping here. So beautiful. Oh, look at that. This has bigger chunks of glitter in it. One of them. Maybe not that one. Platinum gel. Shiny. Star gel. Mm, I don't know. So that's one coat. Again, two coats will bring it to full opacity. That is so pretty. Y'all look at that color. And for Valentine's Day, it's a gorgeous color. Okay, now. Let's take this one back out. That's what we're looking like. Cured. I don't... In the On the camera, it looks gold, but... I don't know if you guys can see the rose goldish. It's really rose gold. See, look at the gold. It's more of a rosy tone. But on the camera, I feel like it's not doing it justice. So let me wipe my little brushy brush down here again. Put a second coat on there. Yes, this is gorgeous, y'all. Look at that. Let me pop it in there. Get that other one and wipe the brush out. I'm going to wait for this one after we do this. Y'all, this is just unflipping believable. Let's put a second coat on this. Oh, girl. That's what we're looking like. Cured. So I am going to announce the giveaway. Um... If you're here watching and you haven't already hit that subscribe, hit that good old subscribe and like button. Leave me some pink hearts. Drop a comment. You like Timu? Do you order from Timu? If you haven't, sis, uh, you're sleeping on some good Timu nail products. Check them out as long as other stuff like the short sets in the summertime for my boys. The t-shirts are Thick. They got nice collars on them. They're made out of good material. Basketball shorts galore. Okay, pop that back in there. We'll take a look at those two in just a moment. Because I am going to top coat this one real quick so I can show you guys this black mirror finish crumbing powder that I got. So let me throw some no wipe top coat on top of this 
beautiful rose gold because it's silky smooth. Bing, 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 bing. And we'll pop him back on in there. All right, set that over there. And there's different colors of both of these. I'll try to um, put some pictures up if I can, but probably not. So I'll just may say glitter star gel. I don't want to make y'all no promise that I can't keep. And uh, y'all, I'll be 48, February 5th, so I'm not electronically inclined. <laughs> may say shiny platinum gel. This one is number 003 for the rose gold. And then this, oh, 003. See what I'm talking about, y'all? I didn't even notice that. Look at that. Ain't no way in the world. Two different kinds that I could make that up. I told y'all, them good three, they're not even the same kind of gel. Same company, but two different get downs. Boy, I tell you. Hmm. All right, so let's. Well, this is what this one's, this 003 in the Glitter Star Gel. Just beautiful. That is a gorgeous Valentine's color. That will make some pretty Valentine's nails. Matter of fact, I think we'll have to make some to share with you. Okay, so now we've got on some um, top coat on this rose gold. Now this, I made quite a mess with when I first opened it, so be careful. Mmm, y'all. It's like a gunmetal color. It's a mirrored chrome powder um, and black, I, which I've not seen. I've got every other color on God's Green Earth. Well, horse feathers. But I don't have one like this, so when I've seen it, I'm like, oh, cool. And I love me some black nails. Woo, 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 woo. There we go. Put him in the lid. I'll put it over here so I don't get it everywhere. Let's get a little dabby dab on our little applicator that came with it. I'm getting it everywhere anyways. Maybe I should have left a little sticky on. Hmm. Because right now, this just getting a shadow cast. Let me get um, a dust brush, because I don't want this stuff every which way. Every which way, but loose. Some of y'all ain't old enough to know what that means. So, I'm going to put another layer of top coat on, but I'm not going to cure it all the way. I've heard to do that. Because this, this is what we got so far. It's really sheer, transparent. I don't know if they put it over black in the picture, but let's give this a quick cure. Say 25 seconds. Okay, then this is the showstopper. I was so pleasantly surprised. I paid $4 and some change for this 4.23 ounces of Yan Yu a clear acrylic powder. Yeah, I won't buy any other clear after this. I, it blew my mind. Literally blew my mind. I can't wait to show you. I'm excited to show you. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. And one more coat and see what happens. Okay, yeah, that's better. Tracy from Young Nails uh, said a 25 second cure to 30 and over black this or over white either one gray it's a gunmetal look at that loving that literally gunmetal okay and then I got the ick again which will be all over me let me be very careful not to jumble hand, get to hopping around and drop this. Ooh, wee, that'd be a mess and a half. You know, I've got so much stuff from Timo as far as nail products go because they're, anybody can, if I can afford it, anybody can afford it. I'm trying to get this back on. 
I, it, that's just what it looked like on the uh, site. It didn't have like a number or a color or nothing. Sorry about the mess, but I can't wait to show this to you. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. We got a little monomer here, and this is my Phoenix uh, Nelco monomer. Let me get a brush. I'll use my McCart brush. Little swatch stick. And y'all, you know, this was $4 and some change. Tap, tap, tap. Polymerize quickly. Nothing left on the brush. It's not running all over creation. It's pliable right away. You ain't got to sit and wait 20 years. This is what I would call like a moderate um, acrylic. It's not fast drying, but it's not beginner slow either. You know, when he's all in the beginning, you needed something that was pretty slow because you couldn't get that bead manipulated fast enough. And butter, butter, baby butter. I can't wait to make some acrylics out of this. I'm going to order more, of course. I don't know if you all can see. My camera's wanting to uh, look at that. Let's pick up another bead. Let's take some more monomer out of the brush. Bounce, 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 bounce. Watch how quick it polarizes. Bam. Set it down. It doesn't run away. Look at that. And I can start manipulating it almost immediately. It didn't leave anything on my brush. Like, who in the world would have thunk it that a $4 acrylic from Timu, like, y'all, real talk, this is some good stuff. Like, you're seeing it for yourself. I can't make this shit up. I can't make it do that. And it's just, it it got to be self-leveling because, I mean, it's just as... Holy smokes. Like it blew my mind. And doing this set of nails, what I had in my mind was um, Porsche's uh, gold uh, luxury nails um, was my inspo. Let me just make this smooth because we're going to use this to use our last polish on. Because I want to show you guys. Just this, this stuff is great. I can't. I don't know what else to say. It's freaking fantastic. Y-A-N-Y-U. Get you a jar for yourself. And if you're one of them girls that want to mix some um, glitter acrylics and give that a go, I also have those to show you. I would go on Timo and get this for freaking dollars, dude. You can make six to eight decent-sized little jars, like them little uh, half an ounces. Yen Yu acrylic powder. And you know, when you see it in the black and clear jar like this, you're like, meh. No, honey. Try it. And if, and if it, you don't think that it's good, I'll give you the $4 back. Okay, while we're letting that sit so we could try that last polish, I want to show you guys the other day, a few of the sisters, um, I was naming some glitter acrylics. I make my own little uh, uh, collections here and there for myself. I waste a lot of monomer. Forgive that. <laughs> forgive that and um got some names from a couple of them this one i don't remember who said this but somebody did well this one is love bomb this one is the pink one we've got open hearts closed hearts light pink lips hot pink lips baby pink we got some fillers in there so this is Love Bomb. How cute is that? And whichever one of you girls gave me that name, 
let me know in the comments because I don't remember. Okay, Miss Erica, you said love overall. Well, baby, when my brain damaged self wrote it on the jaw, I wrote love all over. And that song popped into my head. But this is Miss Erica helped me name this. We got gold hearts, open hearts, red hearts, red lips. We got little red and gold fillers. We've got um, different size hearts. And little starry stars in there. See a little star in there? So how cute is that? And that is love all over. And y'all seen the red and black set that I did. I did it with that. Okay, this one. Uh, Jonah, darling, you said love spell. So the, I know a lot of love spells, uh, Victoria's Secret love spell, and I believe I've seen some acrylic called love spell, so I call this love spell potion. And Miss Jonah gets the credit for that one. Open hearts, closed hearts, different shades of purple. This one is the only one I didn't leave a clear backing to. I put it in um, some purplish, pinkish mix and made the purple um, with the glitters in it doesn't have and I put it on both sides of the swatch stick why well, I don't know but that's what we have and that is love potion love spell potion love spell potion right there love spell potion love all over I think Nyla just got that cat that keeps breaking into our house <laughs> And love bomb. The neighbor cat keeps coming into our house and fighting my cat. No, my dog just got it. I ain't complaining. Okay, and this one, my bully dogs, babes. She said, mixed love. Well, all the other ones had love in the name. So this one, I wanted to give it a little something different. So this is mixed emotions. Look at there, y'all. Look at there. Look at there. We got some purple. We got iridescent. Or we got hollow, I mean. And iridescent. We got pink lips. We got hollow colored lips. We got open black stars. Bigger ones. We got smaller four point stars. We got blue, teal, pink, red, black, gold. That is mixed emotions. Loving it. Thank you girls so much for my little name and my little uh, collection here I made for myself. I can't afford to buy 50 acrylics at every holiday. I just can't do it. Okay, let's do the MI dry test. Yes, my ears. Yes, my ears, darling. Yes, my ears. So we're just going to buff him a little bit, get him ready for some polish. Did you get it, Nine Eyes? And we'll follow the end. Did you get that bad kitty cat to keep messing with your brother? The neighbor's cat is breaking into my house and my poor BC scratons. We have BC and Moses. Ain't that funny? It was baby cat, but as he got bigger and he was no longer baby cat, he became BC, so now he's before Christ. And Moses was supposed to be a boy that turned out to be a girl. So you pronounce Moses in Hebrew, Moshe. So Moses turned into Moshe, and we call her Mosey. Now look, just smooth, even, that, that's some good shit. I'm telling you, try that acrylic. And if you don't like it, I'll send you $4. And you can send me the dead burn acrylic. <laughs> I'll pay the shipping. Okay, now let me tell you what it is first. Look at the, I love these bottles. Like, I just love them. X-E-I-J-A-Y-I. -I. 10 milliliters. Nine zero zero. Now let's see what she looking like on this. I can't get over this acrylic. I mean, look, my nails turned out great, y'all, and I didn't have to file much. I did the clear nails, and I uh, put a little bit of bridesmaid from Nail House. Well, first I put the clear down, then I used some velvet Teddy from Not Polish to do the. Um, ombre and then I put a little bit of bridesmaid from Nell House over it to bring down the gold glitter and I just line the sides and the ends
There wasn't a lot of fire. And these gems, these big ones, Timu. These hearts, Timu. These shapes down here, most of them. I think they're all probably from flipping Timu. I wouldn't doubt it. They probably all are because I get most of my nail stuff from Timu. Look at that. Bling, 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 bling. All right, let's get on to the polish. And then we'll get on to the giveaway and the rules for the giveaway. So you got to stick around if you want to get in on that. There will be three prizes. Oh, look at this. What a funky color. Hmm. Oh, I like that. It's light. You could use this as a sparkle topper. For real, for real. Or by itself. And it's got... I don't know. It, it turns. It's got different colors depending on which way you're looking at it. Y'all see how smooth this is? And all I did was freaking buff it and file the end. Are you seeing that? Can you see it? Look how smooth that acrylic is, y'all. So the polish is gorgeous, but I can't get over the doggone acrylic. But this has some gold. And if you look at it a certain way, it kind of has a little greenish tint, but more so gold. And then you look at it a certain way or shift it a certain way, it has a little burgundy hue to it. So this, you, if you layer it up, matter of fact, I'll cure it and we'll put another coat on there. Because I really want y'all to see how smooth. And y'all seen, all I did was lay the little swatchy stick and buffed him. So let's cure that woo, 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 for 60 seconds. And while we're doing that, we could talk about the giveaway. First of all, getting to 500 today on the Young Nails uh, Live, they was like, congratulations. That's not easy when you're new. When you're just getting into social media and you've only been doing this a year or so, that's not an easy feat. Some people, you know, they'll hit something viral and bam, they may be there overnight. But after the viral, uh, whatever they did wears off, you know, they're down to nothing, which would suck. I'd rather, you know, it be the way that it was. <coughs> but I've heard a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, this isn't my full of time. This isn't my livelihood. This is just a hobby. This is just something I do. Well, honey, I'm glad you got it like that. All y'all that I've heard say that I'm glad you got it like that because it's been more than one person. For me, it was everything. I was all about working and providing and making my own money and building a life for my family and bam, all of a sudden, I couldn't do none of that. I couldn't do Jack Spratt. I attempted to go back to work multiple times you know, your head says, oh, I could do that. And then your body quickly reminds you that you can't. I did um, clean hallways for a uh, brother and sister at the church. Uh, they had a cleaning company for a while, but then they dropped the accounts for the apartment buildings. And they started only doing business buildings night shift. So, my stamina is 20 years older than I am. I need frequent naps because I'm about to be 48. So, my stamina is 68. <laughs> I go to bed I, on days like when I clean for like five hours straight. Oh, I'm going to sleep on the couch and I'm going to take a nap before I go to bed and get up and go to bed and sleep all night long. Whoop tired, might wake up tired the next day. So for me, this is everything. And y'all being on here, like this is the reinvent, reinventing myself. Like when your identity snatched away, that was hard for me to deal with. And especially because I couldn't do what I used to do. I couldn't do what I was used to being able to do. And nobody understood that. Like, okay, yeah, mom's disabled and she can't work now and it is what it is. But what was going on in my head, nobody knew or could understand even if I tried to tell them. I'm a busybody. I'm not good at sitting still. I was always up with the chickens, out the door, down the road, let's get it, go handle business, do what we got to do. And then when we're not at work, be at home with the family, enjoy our home instead of rip roaring around everywhere, and then all of a sudden I'm stuck. So this is everything to me. This is reinventing myself. This is giving my life purpose other than being a wife and a mother again. And trust me, being a wife and a mom is enough to keep you busy, but every woman needs something for themselves. 
this is for me. This is something I love to do. I can do it. Ain't nobody standing over me trying to tell me to do five different things at one time. That's what I can't do. That's when it's too much and I'm overwhelmed and I'm going to screw all of it up. And then I was always a person that I was pretty good at whatever I touched. At least decent. You know, it was. I didn't fail at a whole lot of things in life. Um, somebody corrected my spelling the other day and I'm like, well, you know, it's not that I don't know how to spell. I did gra graduate salutatorian. I'm actually a pretty smart person. But I will, like when I was writing the Bible studies, I had to write in pencil. Because I said I was writing dyslexic. I know and is A-N-D. But I would put N-D-A. Because my writing, my hand just got ahead of my brain. And we all know how to spell and if we've been taught to read. But I would write completely different sequence. Or just totally misspell something that I totally know how to spell. All the time. So... And I told him, I'm like, yeah, they're like, oh, well, I understand, you know, you spelled it how it sounds. No, that really had nothing to do with it. My fingers just got ahead of my brain, but thanks anyway that you have the time to point out people's spelling errors. You know, some of that. On YouTube, for goodness sakes. But I just want all y'all to know, when I say I got mad love for you, I mean it. Like, we're this little bunch that I've gotten pretty close to quite a few of you guys. You know, we do a lot of talking. We've talked in detail about different parts of our lives, and it's great. You know, our little bunch is great. I have to give us that. We, we're we pretty good about, you know, I said um, to someone the other day, oops, sorry, I hit the camera stand. You know, they say two heads are better than one. Well, 15, 20 heads are better than two. Why not tackle life's issues and bounce ideas off of one another and come up with solutions for whatever the freak we're going through at that point in time. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that you are exceptionally important to me and this is massive in my world. It's not a hobby. It's not something I'll sit and down and play like, oh, you know, no big deal. Huge, massive, huge humongous, out of this world, astronomical deal. And I think each and every one of you for getting me there. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this. What would be the point? Talking to the air. So, the giveaway. There's going to be three prizes. One and two are boxes of nail goodies. Different things. And I'm going to show them on a video this weekend. I will try to have it up um, before Sunday, if at all possible. Um, box two, since it is second place, it just has a couple items less than box one, but they're very similar. Prize number three is a custom set of press-ons in a length, shape, color, bling, hand art, drawn art, whatever you, Valentine's Day, whatever you want. And um, there'll be 24 pieces, so that way you have extras in case something happens. So, now let's do this real quick and then I will give you the rules. Let me put another clue on sticking back in that lamp. And the rules to the giveaways, you know, they're they're very similar. And uh, my girl, my sister on here, Alicia's Glam Nails. If you're not on her page, what are you waiting on? Get over there and subscribe. She does some beautiful nails. She's sweet. She's got a great channel, great content. Get on over there and hit that good subscribe button for her. Woo, 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 woo. Heather hooked me up with a link to a, um, you know, a little photo album for our stickers. Four dollars on Amazon, y'all. As soon as she sent me the link, I went and ordered it. Because my stickers are in a makeup bag, and they're just a cluster F. And I always got to dig through all of them to find the one sticker I'm looking for. Okay, so here's with two coats on here. Here you can see the shift. See, there's some reds and golds and... Kind of a green hue but it's kind of gold so you don't i'd say more gold and red than anything but on top of that look how smooth the flipping acrylic is and y'all seen all i did was buff it there's no lumps and bumps and wrinkles um in the acrylic so i'm gonna pop that back in okay so the rules are a like this video and subscribe to the channel. 
Leave a comment, and this is what made me bring up Alicia. I cannot pay international shipping, y'all. Your girl is disabled, and I don't get disability yet. So I can't pay international shipping. If I could, honey doll, I would. In a heartbeat, can't do it. I'm sorry. Love you dearly. Maybe one day, but today ain't that day. So I'm sorry. I can only take U.S. contestants, um, entrance, whatever you want to call it. So number one, like and subscribe. Number two, go over and follow me on Instagram so I can contact you with the information and get your shipping information if you win. If you don't have Instagram, you have to add part of part two to number three. The third and final rule is comment hashtag enter me US. Alicia did. The same thing, I think. I think it was Enemy US or USA. So that's where I'm like, oh, I'm glad you did that because my absent minded butt wouldn't have even have thought about it. And then I'd have been up the creek without a paddle when I had to send something somewhere that I ain't got the money to send it to. Then that would have been all bad. So thank you, Alicia. And again, go over there and subscribe to my girl's channel. She's great. She really is. You all going to love her content. But in saying that, if you don't have an Instagram, then when you comment or when you yeah when you comment hashtag enter me us also leave me your email if you do not have an instagram so that way if you win i can contact you and get your information okay so one more again let's look at this bad boy first all right that's all cured pretty fat smooth no humpity bumpities, no dips and dives and dips and dodges. <laughs> Y'all know that movie. Okay, number one, subscribe if you're not already and like this video. Number two, follow me on Instagram. Number three, comment hashtag enter me US. And if you do not have an IG, leave your email address. There was something else I wanted to tell you. And trying to think what that was. So much goodness in one little video. So much goodness. Oh, I have another um, email scoop haul for you guys that's coming up this weekend as well. Oh, that's what I want to tell you. So I'm going to be posting quite a few videos between now, which is the 18th, and let's see. So it's the 18th. So how about we close the um, the drawing on my birthday, or the, the drawing, the entrance on my birthday, February 5th, and uh, we will pick a winner on my son's birthday, February 7th. Let me see. Let me pull up a calendar here, guys. Can't do it on the phone because I'm recording on the phone, so we'll do it on the tablet. Because I'm not sure. So today is the 18th, and it is Thursday. Y'all, I wanted to get a Zule bling scoop, but I got to say for my son's birthday, and I'm like, it's cool because she puts a lot of bling in her boxes, and I'm getting her February box for my birthday. So I'll just get it then. Well, that didn't help me at all. Oh, wait. Yes, it did. There's January. Where is February? Oh, fuzzer brother. Well, okay, so well, today's the 18th Thursday, so the 25th is one week, and the February 1st will be two weeks. Oh, am I right? Yes, February 1st will be two weeks. Second, third, fourth, the fifth is on a Sunday, and the seventh is on a Tuesday. It's my birthday Super Bowl Sunday this year. Every so often it falls on a Super Bowl Sunday. First, second... Third, fourth, fifth. Maybe I'm wrong. What is this? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Nope, I'm wrong. My birthday falls on a Monday, and my son's birthday falls on a Wednesday. So, yeah, we'll close it up on Monday. 
That'll be the end of it, and we'll have all of our entrants, and then we will draw the winner on the 7th, on his birthday. All right, guys, I'm going to um, put it on the screen, so that way, you know, if me chattering too fast, you didn't catch some of that or whatever, so that way, hit the pause button, do what you got to do. I have to do it quite frequently if I'm going to remember something. If you ain't been shopping on Timu, what the world are you doing? Go get you some bling. Go get you some stickers. Go get you some of this. If you do acrylic, holy guacamole. I'm telling you, try it. I mean, $4. Come on now. $4 ain't jack. It's a quarter a day for what? Four quarters. Uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen days. Two weeks. A quarter a day for two weeks. And, and, and some change. Give it a try. I swear you will not regret it. And that's it, girls. Love you. See you. Bye.